This is a video on how to calculate molar mass for a compound. You can see our learning target is that I can determine a molar mass of a compound from its formula. So periodic table, so far we've been looking at elements. Like I know that for fluorine, I can look and I know that one mole of fluorine is going to have a mass of 19 grams. Or I can say that fluorine's molar mass is 19 grams per mole. So now we're going to put this to compounds. So here is an example, um, barium nitrate. And what we would do is first thing is we would write the chemical formula for barium nitrate. So barium nitrate, we would want to, you know, look at the fact that barium is plus two, nitrate minus one. So if I do the crisscross, my formula is going to be BaNO3, 2. So I'd want to be able to write the chemical formula correctly first. And then um, this is how I'd like you to show your work. So I want you to list the elements and how many there are. So in this formula, there's one barium. This 2 is really a 1 gets distributed to everything in parentheses. So there's two nitrogens, and then two times three, six oxygens. Then I go to the periodic table, and I find um, barium is here. I find nitrogen, which is here, and I find oxygen. And I'm always going to have these um, go to the hundredths. If they um, go further than the hundredths, sometimes this, like this one, only goes to the tenths, but most most of them go to the hundredths. So um, nitrogen is 14.01, and then um, oxygen is going to round to 16. So um, once um, I know this, then one times that would be 137.3 grams are in a mole of barium. Here we have 28.02 grams are in two moles of nitrogen, but it would be grams per mole. And then six oxygens each have a mass or molar mass of 16, so this would be 96. So once I do this, I would just then add them all together. And I'm not really worried about sig figs because this is these are not measurements that are based on calculation. But I'll just consistently go to the hundreds when I do these calculations. And I do want you to show your work at least this part right here. Um, and then eventually after this unit, you won't have to show your work anymore. So that's how you calculate molar mass. This is the amount of mole of grams of barium nitrate that are in one mole of barium nitrate.